Hey guys, so it's me, some dude with the next sign here. Um, before this video starts, I uh, had, I was originally, this was recorded on probably the either fourth or fifth take because, well, um, my, I was originally was gonna film it just nonstop and then, and then, uh, oh, and something bad happened and didn't turn out well and all that stuff. I recorded vertical. Yes, yeah, stupid phones. Recording in vertical. And uh, also, I was also having issues with Movie Maker on my Windows PC. PC. So that means I'm probably going to be recording most videos on the iPad now since. I don't know what to do with this, and I don't want to use Movie Maker again. And, yeah. Sorry for the inconvenience, but that's it. See ya, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's me, some dude with an exit sign, back once again. So today, I got something uh, pretty special to show you. It's a... an exit sign, yay! Sorry if it's a little zoomed in since I'm recording with the iPad and... Ugh. Yeah. I was having issues with recording it on, uh, anywhere else and... Yeah, sorry if this video is seems really unprofessional since... Yeah. So starting with my first unit here is the Lithonia ECG. Hi, it's me from the future. Uh... The unit which I was talking about was not a Lithonia ECG. It was an ECC. Sorry for uh, the confusing. And we're going to go back to the video now. G exit sign combo. This is my second combo and my only, probably my only working combo. You can see we have two heads which are pretty hard to, well, yeah, well, these were pretty stiff, let's say that. But after adjusting them a little bit, yeah, at least they're not fragile as the ELM2 second generation, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is generic, even though it says Lithonia lighting there. Similar to my, to the generic up there, and this is my second generic sign, even though it's Lithonia. Lathania. Um... This unit seems pretty cool, and you can see here the heads. And uh, this, yeah, I'm gonna go pop open the sign. Be right back. Okay, so we got the faceplate open. I couldn't do it because this I because I have a big iPad. If I had a mini, it'd been a lot easier. But anyways, um, so here's the battery right up here. Um, you can probably read that. And you can see here's the LED board and the LED board. This is the transformer. And these are all the wires. This is 120 volts. I think this is the neutral wire, even though it says calm. And the 277 volts. Volts and there's the green LEDs. And right below here is the test button. Any I can press that. You know, it's a clicky test button. Not like uh, some other test buttons, like for example, well, there's some other test buttons, like like the old sign, like that sign up there. Yeah, uh, and uh, when I plugged in the battery, the battery was dead, D E D dead. So I have to, I may have to replace this battery here, unfortunately. So. That may take a while to do, or I may have, or it just needs to be charged. I'm not sure. And I, I know one thing that Fire Alarm Dude five, five, nine, six, five nine six seven actually has this unit, and this can turn red or green depending what what it is. And yeah, you know, creating a pretty long video here. No, not so long, but anyways. Yeah, you can see the mounting plate, and I'm thinking of mount. Ooh, 
I'm thinking of mounting this up where that sign is right now, the generic. And there's the OQM. And yeah. So, yep, that was my sign. And this is the beginning of a series. I haven't called anything yet, but I will decide once I do. But yeah, this is my new sign here. It's a nice one here. Wow. Now let's go to some things I don't like, well, I like about the sign. First is the heads. I got this head torn off, like, like for, and it's really stiff, and it's no longer stiff, but jeez, it's still, it's just still is very stiff. Stiff what it is, and you can see the heads like that. Yeah, these, these heads are stiff. The stiffest heads I ever, yeah. Wow. Those heads were pretty stiff over there. Yeah, but. Come on. Come on with the, you know, yeah, well, yeah, these are generic. Anyways, and. Yeah, these are really hard to adjust. It's not like the, uh. It's not like I. I don't think it's like the ELM2 where the heads are pretty much. Well, kind of free room, but yeah, and plus the sign, has, and you can see the sign has a little yellowed a little bit. And this sign was made in in 2019, so this is the newest sign in my collection. So this is it. Thank you for watching, and see you later next time. Oh wait, there's something. This video is not at its end yet. I have something else to show you. Be right back. Well, here it is. It's my Lithonia QM. Yeah, this is the uh, older sign I got. I think this was made around 19. I I'm not sure what the the how it was made since it's not like this unit here. You can see the size comparison between these two. You can see the. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, you can see this one and all that stuff. This is the second oldest unit in my collection so far. Yeah, the oldest one goes to the PLX 6200, anyways, uh, the Shirley's PLX 6200. But, yeah. And don't forget the single-tiered Lithonia logo here. It just says Lithonia here instead of... Lithonia lighting, yeah. I prefer Lithonia lighting personally. So yeah. And uh you can see that the letters which are probably for the nineteen which has been used since the nineteen sixties. Now I'm gonna get the faceplate off, but this time I'm gonna do it try to do it with uh, one hand and holding the iPad at the same time. I may cut this video part out. And, yeah. Here's the faceplate. It's a, uh, slightly burnt. The diffuser isn't burnt, but yeah. Let me put that to the side. Here's the uh, actual unit itself. So you can see here are the two incandescent bulbs here, and the two battery backup bulbs. You can see here is the Lithonia Emergency Systems battery. Now I think this is the original battery for this unit, since... It says Lithonia Emergency Systems, which is pretty old, and also says Lithonia Emergency Systems on the battery. And the model number of this unit is, you may not see it since I'm trying to get it focused, QMSW 3G 120 volts, 277 volts, EL, L, 80... SW55 and the date code is 208S10. So I think this sign was made in 2000 if I'm correct, but I could have been made in 2000. I think these signs were released in 1997, but yeah. You can see the uh, circuit board components in here. It's pretty messy and you can see here. Yeah, I'm pressing the test button, which is pretty cool. 
There's the transformer here, and here's the wiring. So this is probably the neutral wire. This is 277 volts, and this is one prop. The black one is 120. I'm not sure. Hey guys, it's me, some dude with an access line back in the future once again. Um, I found out that the little piece of paper actually shows said black lead. So the black lead is on 120 volts, and the brown lead is 277 volts. You probably know what I'm going to use if I'm going to wire up the sign. See you later. And enjoy the video once again. It's not labeled, and what's this little thing here? Yeah, I have this little thing. Well, I may try to... Whatever. And uh, I have taken this battery out, but it was a pain in the butt to do it. And yeah. Another thing about this unit is the plastic. Plastic is decayed, basically. Oh, well, broke. You, you can see here, here this has gotten a lot of heat damage over over year, over when it was installed. Installed, and it has also yellowed, also. Yeah. Um. Now, now my dad's uh, storage place, which I'm not going to tell the location of. Has these signed in red, and also I saw the, the Spirit Mount, and also at Spirit Mount Casino, they have these signs in, in actually red, and black housing. You don't see that common, but yeah. I could uh, get a Lithonia LHQM faceplate for the uh, for this, and and just mount it up and let. Yeah, so this is the pre this is actually one of the predecessors to the LQM which I have up there. It's literally a predecessor. And uh, you couldn't believe how much we got both of these signs for. We got them for eleven bucks on face Yeah, so what I did so what we did, um we meet up my dad meet up with the person who were selling these signs here. Ooh. Facebook Marketplace, to be exact. And he, we gave him $11. Originally, I was going to get a vintage sign, but that didn't work out. We got these two. At least it was good to see uh, getting a QM and a ECC a combo unit. Yeah, these are more modern signs. This one is old. This one is old, and this one is the newest. So... Well, I get, I'm probably going to try to hook this up at some point, but there's no guarantees. So I'm going to be putting them back on the collection shelf, which I have. Here it is. From oldest to newest. PLX 6200GP, 2000, I don't know, 1996. 2000, year 2000, 2019. I would put this one, since this is 2017 and 2015. So this would have gone between this sign and the QM right here, so. Yeah, and also this sign would be the newest. So anyways, here's the full collection. Including that and that. There's the full collection. And this is not just, this is not the, this is just the beginning. You're going to see a lot more coming in the, in the following days. Days, because there's going to be more coming. And probably some cool stuff coming also. That's a surprise though. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and see you later next time.